many of our viewers have wondered the validity of mining with an RX 560 or 460. Well, this is not a RX 560. This is. Say hello to my little friend. It is significantly smaller. Looks very similar though. By itself, it could almost fool anybody that it might be a faster car than it actually is. It has the copper heat pipes. And unlike the 460, the 560 actually has a 6-pin in power input. But it quickly gives it itself away when you look at the ports that it has. Only it comes with one DVI, one HDMI, and one display port. Unlike an RX 580, which comes with many more ports. So, how well does the RX 560 mine at Ethereum? Let's take a journey together and find out. Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Routine. If you like this desktop that you see, uh, we'll make it available for download in the description along with the um, original and modded BIOS of the RX 560 and the 460. Now let's quickly take a look in the HW info. You see that the um, RX 560 by Gigabyte uses the Polaris 21 XT chip. Um, take pop open the GPU Z, you see that it is using Micron memory. Uh, this is the unfortunate thing um, that it uses Micron, which is perhaps the hardest brand of memory to overclock and to do my BIOS mod with, if it's even possible. Um, looking at the RX 460 by Sapphire, um, which uses the Polaris 11, the Baffin Pro chipset, you see that it is also using Micron. And that is just the reality of these lower end video cards is they tend to use the lower end um, memory like Micron, which is very difficult to work with. Um, now, the unmodded hash rate of these two cards, uh, the 560s yield, uh, yielding about 11.8, 11.9, uh, and the 460 is about 11.4 to 11.7. So not too bad for a default unmodded uh, hash rate, knowing that these cards are about half of, uh, half in wattage consumption and half in cost of the bigger brothers, the the 70s and the 80s. Um, so you can see that the 560 wall mining is only consuming about 38 watt software side. On the wall it's actually about 70 watt. Um, the software always under report what the actual power consumption is. Um, its core clock default is 1287 and the memory clock is 1750. Um, with the 460s the core clock is 1216 megahertz so it's lower core clock um, but it has the same memory clock of 1750 um, and the 460 um, the strange thing is the 460 actually consumes a little bit more power um, it's about you know in the 40s watt software reporting wise goes uh, compared to the in the high 30s of the 560 um, so the 560 is definitely more efficient at mining than 460. Um, now we're going to try to um, BIOS mod these cards. Um, we don't expect to get much gain out of that. Um, you can probably get close to the same gain just by overclocking it. But we're going to mod it, the BIOS anyway and we'll show you um, what you can expect. Um, now. After modding, you see on the screen that the this is the RX 4, uh, 560, and it's yielding about 13.8 mega hashes, which is not too bad. We've overclocked the memory to 2,000 megahertz, and this is as as good as it's gonna get. Um, power consumption-wise, it really didn't uh, 
you know, consume any more than the standard clock and unmodded BIOS. So that's a good news. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So, back to the question. Is it worth it to mine Ethereum or any other cryptocurrency with AMD RX 560 or 460? Well, if you think about it, 560 and 460 reasonably coming at around $100 per card, which is about half of what a reasonably priced um, RX 480 or a 580 used to be. Um, they're still available, unlike RX 480, 470, or 580, 570. And they consume about half the power at the wall. So for the RX 560, it's about 70 watt versus 145, 150 watt of the RX 580. Uh, same thing could be said about the Sapphire RX 460. Now you want to make sure that if you are going forward with mine, building mining rigs with the 560 and the 460, that you get the four gigabyte edition, not the two gigabyte edition. You won't be able to use the two gigabyte edition. It's got to have the four gig of RAM. Um, with that said, do we recommend mining with 560 or 460? We say that's, that's a toss up. I mean, it comes down to how desperate you are. Um, with difficulties of Ethereum skyrocketing every single day, um, every day you're not adding to your mining robustness is another day you're going to see less in return on your mining shares. So half the price, half the wattage, and about half the speed. The RX 560 and the 460 unmodded will get you about 11 to 12 mega hashes per second. Modded will get you about 13.4 to 14 mega hashes per second. So there are about um, half of the hash rate that you're going to get from uh, a higher uh, grade um, RX 470, 480, or 570 and 580. So literally they are half in pretty much everything, in cost, in power consumption, and in hash rate. Um, there are other things that you need to consider, but we say it is possible. So it's completely up to you whether you want to go that route or not. Um, that will be the end of this episode. Um, thanks for watching. If you liked the episode, click that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. And uh, if you need any links uh, to video cards or softwares, uh, go ahead and check out the description section. Um, and remember, we're not asking for money, but uh, since we are not sponsored by anybody, uh, we buy everything out of our own pocket. We appreciate any donation, and you can do so either by sending us to our uh, digital currency wallet or our PayPal address. And uh, or or if you want to send us items to review, we'll gladly accept them as well. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in another episode of Beyond the Routine. Have a good day.